Hi y'all, welcome to the Far Side of Normal, home of Supernatural the Cleaners. I am Stacy, the creator and your host. First things first, this is going to be a little bit different of a video. It's not where we discuss the episode and what I liked about it or what I was... Oh, this is actually my thank you to Supernatural. On the eve of Thanksgiving, <laughs> I thought it'd be appropriate to thank the cast and crew and fans and anyone that's ever been a part of Supernatural. Um, I know I'm going to miss so many people and I'm sorry in advance, but just know that my heart and what I express is still the same. Thank you. Here we go. Jensen and Jared, <sighs> thank you so much for 15 years of characters that we've come to love and appreciate and admire. For Sam and Dean teaching us to always keep fighting, to stand up for what's right, to keep fighting in the face of insurmountable, seemingly impossible odds, you still fight. Thank you for them showing us that family is so important and that family doesn't end in blood. Thank you for them showing us how to literally laugh in the face of danger. Um, thank you for showing that character matters, integrity matters to be a person of your word. Thank you, Jensen and Jared, for giving us 15 and a half years of you. Um, consistently, you've shown up to conventions and on social media and for causes that are important to not just you, but to us. I'm gonna say this, and I'm going to be willing to die on this hill. Thank you because there have never been actors that have given us so much of themselves or a show that has done that to us, the fans. So thank you. Misha Collins. <laughs> thank you so much for being a real life angel. For being you. Um <laughs> I appreciate you so much, Misha, because you didn't use your platform to further yourself or toot your own horn. You used it to help others. You took your past of poverty and struggle and you put it forward into helping others to have a better life, not just in the States, but in other countries. Your gish whizzes and random acts have helped countless lives. So thank you so much for being a real life earth angel. <laughs> Alexander Calvert, thank you so much for Jack and his innocence and his sweetness and his childlike heart. In a world and time right now, especially where we as adults <laughs> forget to be like that sometimes. I love how you beautifully played Jack and reminded us to be like that. So thank you for that. Um, yeah, thank you for that. You're a sweetheart. Lisa Berry, thank you so much for being the embodiment of what I'd hoped to see one day on Supernatural. When you walked on the scene that first time, I almost teared up. And I appreciate how you played Billy and that you were a huge part of the latter seasons of Supernatural. So thank you for showing me that if I can see it, I can be it and I can dream it. Thank you. Um, Ruthie Connell. <laughs> Ruthie, I love you so much because I call you Mighty Might. You are so tiny, but you are just boss. I appreciate how as tiny as you are, you showed up in every scene and just crushed it and commanded the respect or fear or whatever and held your own against strapping six foot plus guys every time, every time. It's not the package is the content. You have both the package and content, but Ruthie, I love you. <laughs> Brianna, thank you so much for Donna. I love Donna because in this world of just 
the worst that we see, she was still fun and sweet and white and kind and caring and giving. And she was just herself, even in this world. And we need that reminder. So thank you so much for Donna. I love Donna. <laughs> I love Donna so much. Brianna, thank you. Cliffy, thank you so much for keeping our boys safe, for being their chauffeur and confidant and partner in crime and even being on Supernatural, which is I think how you got the role of their all-encompassing bodyguard best friend. Anyways, thank you so much for being you and taking care of the boys. But not only that, thank you for not just caring for them, but caring for us as a fandom. I love so much that you and your brother created a fan movie from our perspective, and it wasn't anything demeaning. It was to celebrate the fans that love this show so much. Cliffy, thank you. To the crew, you guys are the unsung heroes. Um, I know that on a lot of sets, the crew is there before the actors are talent, and they're there long past when they're gone. Your hard work and your dedication and your commitment and your sacrifice through rain and I'm sure snow and cold and heat and being exposed to the elements and moldy gross buildings and <laughs> not so sanitary conditions. Thank you so much because if it wasn't for your dedication and your professionalism and your heart, honestly, we would not have a show that we loved for 15 years. So thank you so much. Thank you. To the wardrobe. <laughs> thank you so much for making Joe Average wardrobe so great. And I have to say this, and I know I'm just going to be embarrassed, I don't even care. Thank you so much, Wardrobe, for putting Dean Westchester in so many incredible outfits. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Jensen Ackles is like a real life Ken doll. So I know you probably went to work every day thinking best job ever. Thank you for all of those choices. <laughs> we appreciate you greatly. Thank you so much for putting Sam and Dean in glasses. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> We appreciate you. <laughs> and to the fans, um, which are SBM family, thank you. Um, because of this little show that could, people from different backgrounds and experiences and ethnicities and countries, for crying out loud, have all come together because of our love, our devotion, our commitment, whatever, to this show, Supernatural. It has been so encouraging over the years to see what this fandom has become and what it has done become a force for good. Other fandoms envy us, which they should because we're pretty boss. Not to brag or anything, but we're pretty dope. Um, even as we speak, it is hitting people so hard that the show is over. 15 years, 15 years is a long time for anything. Um, for heaven's sake, there's people that are not even that old yet, um, you know, that haven't been married that long or have been in school that long or have been on the job that long. 15 years to have something that's been your constant and maybe even your only constant in your steadiness, in your go-to come to an end when 2020 has been a year. A lot of people are devastated <laughs> and even as we speak, though, from around the world, our family fandom is organizing gift exchanges and Christmas card exchanges because they want to be there for each other and to support one another in our fandom. That is so amazing. I'm so excited about the Christmas cards I'm sending. First of all, they're brilliant and they are supernatural themed and they're amazing. But I'm sending cards to, I think, Wales and Australia and the UK somewhere in some other country. I'm so excited to send a little Christmas cheer and holiday love and hopefully make some day brighter. That's because we're a family. And to be sure, Supernatural might have ended on the small screen, but 
our family fandom will never end. Our <laughs> support of one another will never, ever end. Um, and because we are family, we are dysfunctional. <laughs> we have dysfunction all up in our family right now. Some of our fans um, were not excited or big fans of how the last episode played out. They didn't like it or appreciate it and they're expressing their disdain, which they have 100% a right to do. Um, the caveat to that is be kind. You are 100% within your right to say how you feel and express your feelings and please and thank you do that. Even if it's anger or frustration or disappointment or hurt or whatever, but be kind. It's not what you say, it's your delivery and your intention. Don't have a malicious intent. Don't have a hurtful intent. Be kind. I'm just going to leave it at that. I could go on and on, but I just wanted to say thank you. And those words seem small compared to what I've gained from Supernatural, but I'm going to give it a final try. Um, you have helped a little black girl in America <laughs> from an interesting background full of challenges and struggle to step into my creativity and to create a fan based web series as a shout out and love letter to Supernatural. You've allowed me to interact with people in countries that I would love to visit but may never get to. Thank you so much for that. You've allowed people to come together and do a lot of good. I know it's challenging right now. But I still believe that we have so much to be thankful for. And I'm going to choose to focus on that tomorrow on Thanksgiving. 2020, y'all, is the struggle has been real. I'm not even going to pretend to downplay how serious it's been this year. But we have 15 years with the boys. And because they're heroes and legends, nothing ever really dies on Supernatural. I can't wait till we have like a sixth part mini series or a movie, you know it's happening. So it's gonna be in there, it's going down, y'all. In the meantime, fan fiction is gonna come. I can feel it right now. <laughs> and we can rewatch Supernatural as many times as we want. Hang in there, you guys. Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving and until next week, sweet deans and sweet Sams.